Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to play Socom Fighting Bravo 1 and 2 using the emulator PPSSPP. In order to get this started, you will have to join our Discord. The link you will find it down below in the video description. So make sure you click on the link and join our Discord. After joining our Discord, go to the announcements tab. Now, look for the post made by Limblo on June 22nd, 2021. The necessary files for the setup was provided by him. The following two files are necessary for this whole setup. One of them is the infra plugin. And the other one is the custom version with the infra mode for PPSSPP. After both downloads are completed, make sure to extract both of the files. Open the PPSSPP folder you just extracted, and then launch the PPSSPP windows.exe file. This step is necessary to generate the memory stick folder for our next step. Extract the infra folder .zip. After you don't extract in the file, leave the folder open. Go back to the PPSSPP folder and open the memory stick folder. You will notice inside this folder, there's another folder named PSP. This has the file that we needed and that is why we ran the program in order to generate those files. Now, grab the content from the infra folder. It's gonna be a folder inside PSP. Grab it and drop it into the PPSSPP folder. If the program asks you if you want to replace all the content within the folder, click on yes. This function is only going to replace files that are similar to the one from the infra folder. Any other information you have saved in there, like save data, is going to be intact. The only thing that's going to be replacing are the similar files inside of that folder. But this is necessary in order to transfer the correct files that we're going to need inside of the emulator. If you notice that the online option does not work for you, it could be the following. The WLAN is not enabled. UPnP setting must be enabled under the network tab and port needs to be set to zero. In this example of me setting up the emulator, I provided two pictures guiding you where you can find the following settings. Make sure to pause the video if you need to see where to find the settings. After completing all of this, you should be able now to go into multiplayer mode. You're going to notice it's working because you will be able to see the list of servers and you will be able to see the welcome screen asking you to log in or, and register your information. And that's it. You're done setting up the emulator for playing online. If this video was helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe, and subscribe for more. And also, don't forget to join our Discord. Link is going to be down below in the description. If you need help with anything else, all the information is available in the Discord. So please make sure to join. And once again, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment if you need any help, and subscribe for more. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.